Okay. So, um, now that we've got our play framework set up and working, let's just create a simple application. So we're gonna create a, a simple text uh, input, text input for our form. We just enter something into that form, into that input, and we we'll just throw it back to the user and say, okay, you've entered this and so on. All right, so let's just create a new application. Play new lesson to uh, let's just call it form. Alright. Alright, so now that our form is created, let's cd into the our form. See what we can find in there. So we got our app, we got our configuration file, we got our project, we got our public file and so on. So everything is working fine. Alright, so all we need to do now is actually go to our editor and do some editing. If you are using Eclipse, what you need to do is type play Eclipseify. All right. This will allow you to turn this project that you've created so far into an Eclipse project that so that you can actually import it into Eclipse. All right. I'm gonna be using sublime text too for this so i don't need to do that but for those ones that are using eclipse do so and then you can import that project into your eclipse to use all right now i need to open up my sublime text too and i need to do is just add the folder to this project so go to workspace where i store all right so we need to find that project I've got several ones here that I've been working on. All right, so lesson two, form. And that opens up that one over here. So I've got the app, controllers, I've got the views, I've got the configuration files, I've got the project. So let's start with the app, with the controllers. All right. So what we basically have here is a object application extends controller. So what we want to do now is create a form and allow a user to enter data into that form and just print it back to the user. Right? So let's do some imports for the form. API dot data. Import everything from the data API. We also want to import everything from play dot API dot data dot form. So I want to import these two. Um, let me import the controller just in case it gives me problems later. It probably won't because I've already imported the MVC. But I just don't want to take any chances with it anyway. So that's cool. MVC.controller. Alright, so those are all the imports that I need for now. So what I need to do is create the form. It doesn't really matter what you call it. So I need a form. And in this form, I need a label. Let's call it a name. And then I want it to be a text. All right. So that's it for the form. Now let's just call it something else. I don't know. Let's just call it hello. All right, so now once we have our form, what we want to do is basically show that form at the index page. So what we want to do is take out all of this stuff and get the form from our controller. So let's call it hello. And what we are getting is a form that has a string in it. All right, so the, the name here should be a string. So we should get a form of type string, all right? So let's just call that hello. Want to, or do we also want to just import some stuff here, do some imports. Help us, so this allows us to create our form, or play form. So what I want to do here is create a form 
that takes us back to the application say hello all right all right so we create our form create our input text and the name of the form is hello and then we want to say name all right so one we need to want to pass the name of it and then we want to submit that form all right. Uh, submit value and uh, just press and that doesn't matter awesome all right so let's look at what we've done here basically we take we are accepting a form from the controller called hello uh, we, we we import some helpers from you know the play framework api and that allows us to do this at form and add input text this all comes from here so what we want to do is that this form should once it's actually submitted should route back to this controller right so to this action basically which is say hello in that form there should be an input text of type or the name of that thing of that input should be name all right so we link it you can see that we're actually linking it to the hello form that we actually got so this is the name which is the name of the label or the text input that we actually want and that should be submitted and that's it right but let's take out the, this message shouldn't be there so that's all we need to do for the index all right now what needs to happen here is basically nothing yet all right so for now let's just okay, let's just redirect this for now redirect to routes dot application dot say hello All right so this should redirect us to that action so let's create that action quickly say hello equals to action awesome all right so let's define an implicit request to the to the session so we can get the form from there and then what we want to do is take that that form and then bind it from the request dot fault all right so what we want to do is bind that from the request and bind whatever is coming in from the request and bind it to the hello form bind it to this form here so you should be able to get that uh, what we want to do here is if there are any errors in the form create a bad request and then just stay at the view at the index view all right that's fine and then if there aren't any errors in there, what should happen is basically go to the views dot html dot say hello and within there pass the name along to that view. Right, so we've taken the form within that form there's a, a, a label or a text input with a called name take that name and pass it along to the view called say hello 
if there are any errors stay on the same page so what we need to do next is basically just create a view so create a new file save it say hello that's what we should call it dot html and what we want to do here is basically get a string let's call it name of type string and basically what we want to do here is just print out that all right so let's just say welcome and then print out that name and that's all we do here so it's gonna say welcome and then take whatever is being passed through which is what the user end at and print it out to the screen awesome so I think that's all we can do for here let's look at the index see if it's fine all right so now let's run that and see if it's working all right so that's running on port 9000 so let's go to port 9000 and run that let's wait for it to load it's giving us an error well, you say hello is not a member of controllers the reverse application which means we haven't actually put it in a routes yet so it's not doing the reverse routing all right so we need to go back to our file and go to routes and put that as a route okay say hello and at the controllers awesome so we add that to the controller or to the routes so we have my new route that's a that points us to that action all right so when we re reload that oh, did i say this so when we reload this we should be able to get A different result at least awesome all right so this field is required that's the name of the field as you can see name and if I enter something in here say tiny team and press enter it should take us to say hello so you can see it's an action and it's passing a variable called name with a values tiny plus team and it says welcome tiny team all right so if i reload that again so we actually say hello all right so that's where we're actually displaying the form and i enter something else like uh play for work and i enter that you should say welcome play for work so you can see it's actually passing that along Right, so we are basically able to see what is being passed along because within our routes we are using a get uh, http request right so we've created the form we are able to enter data through the form and basically get that result uh, passed along so we start with the controller so the the index action basically just redirects to this action because we want this to be the first action that we see and in there we pass in the form that we want to actually use which is hello whatever form and then we display that form to the screen and tell it that if we, once that form is actually submitted when the submit button is under call this action say hello and when that action is called which is this one here it takes that for uh, that data from the request bind it bind that data to the form 
and if there's an error, you know, just stay at that same form or, and then if there isn't any errors, take that label, or take that input and pass it along to the view, to this say hello view. And the say hello view takes that data and just displays it to the screen. So it's just as simple as that basically. All right, so I think that's a successful uh, lesson so far. See how play actually works through the actions, through, through the actions and through the views. It's pretty simple really because now at the moment there's no control, there's no models or anything like that. Just the views and the controllers and how you can actually get your routes to work. Yes. That's it for today's lesson. See you next time.